Hello everybody! It's been a little bit since we did a cut content video. We have some cut content from Five Nights at Pikachu's, which is a game made by our good friend Zori. So there's not too much here, but he does have some interesting stuff. And if you've never seen Five Nights at Pikachu's, check out the live stream link down below. Because it's a pretty cool game. Pretty cool game. In fact, I can never speak properly. What is wrong with me? And the second game is coming out soon, so we'll look forward to that. But now, let's look into this cut content provided by Zori. Number one, Five Nights at Pikachu's was originally going to be about Winnie the Pooh instead of Pokemon. Now, Winnie the Pooh is my freaking childhood, and so I, I, I really love Winnie the Pooh. So, if anyone does want to make a full-length Winnie the Pooh Five Nights at Freddy's game, I'm definitely up for that. I would love to play that because I love Winnie the Pooh. I love that big yellow guy, so, um, yeah, but yeah, this game was going to be about Winnie the Pooh, so that is pretty interesting, so, uh, yeah. Number two, there's an unused graphic for Entering the Night. Now, it's pretty cool. It would be cool to see a graphic when you enter the night, but, uh, it's not there, but, you know, that's fine. The game, it doesn't hurt the game in any way, so... Number three, there's an unused office for the game. The original mechanic was not planned, Zori says, so the office doesn't make much sense. But from looking from it, it looks like there would be a door. Or someone would enter your room, or something like that. But yeah, it looks um, unfinished, so, you know, there could have been some other stuff in there, but... It'd be interesting to see what uh, this office would have. I mean, the current office is cool. You know, like, uh, it gives, the current office gives off more of a Five Nights at Wario's vibe, because this game is styled after Five Nights at Wario's, so, um, you know, the current office is fine. But, uh, yeah, it would have been cool to see what this office did. Number four, characters would actually pop into your room before you had to hide from them. Now, this would have been very helpful, honestly, because sometimes it's, uh, hard to know when someone enters your room, and that's why you have to focus on the camera system. But, uh, it would be cool if they actually popped in, you know, it would make things easier. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like their, uh, <laughs> pictures for entering. It's pretty cool. And, by the way, Oshawa and T-Pig were not done yet, because, at the time, Zori changed his idea on what he was going to do for them, so... That is why Oshawa and T-Pig do not have one. Number five. This one's small, but the second hallway was apparently much brighter. Now... The current hallway is fine, but yeah, if, it, if it's too bright, I don't know, that might take away the creep factor. So it's good that the hallway was no longer bright. So yeah, good change idea. Like that. Number six, there was an unused frame for Pikachu's jump scare. And um, honestly, well, unused frames, not just one frame. Honestly, it would have been cool if it had multiple frames, because right now the current jump scares are just a single image. But if it had multiple frames, I think it'd look a lot better. But apparently it's really glitchy, and that's why Zori removed it. But um, let's hope Five Nights at Pikachu's 2 has full-on jump scares, because that will be some spooky stuff, I'll tell you what. Number 7. This game was planned to be made two years ago, but at the time, Zori did not have the proper tools. And uh, this is the menu from the old version of the game. And he, he said he didn't have much knowledge on coding, so... The game back then just failed, but at least we get to see the game nowadays, and it turned out pretty good, so good job, Zori. Another thing to note is that the game only had one camera in the original, and um, Pikachu looked much more pixelated and small, so yeah. The game looks much better now. <laughs> and last but not least, an unused teaser that actually looks really cool, so... Would have been cool to see this teaser be used, because it actually looks pretty nice. You know, I think it's a really good looking teaser, Zori. So, that is pretty epic stuff right there. Actually, I was wrong about that being last but not least. There is one more, and that is... An unused machinery room, it seems. And Pikachu position, which was reused for the icon. So, that's pretty cool. Pikachu looks pretty cute there. I don't know if it's just me. <laughs> Even when sinister and scary, Pikachu still remains cute. How does he do it? Alright guys, there is the cut content of Five Nights at Pikachu's featuring Zori. Thank you Zori for deciding to do this video with me and providing some cut content because it was really interesting. Um, the Winnie the Pooh thing was the most interesting for me. I still want to see someone do a Winnie the Pooh fun half game. But yeah, that was the most interesting to me because I love Winnie the Pooh. So, nice stuff here Zori, nice stuff. 
Uh, if you enjoy it, check out my merch and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Yeah, 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 yeah.